Hey guys, Rocket City RV are here again. A uh, little update on a Sunday. Little project I was working on, trying to finish up the uh, plumbing for the um, dishwasher. Um, anyway, I'll show you the progress. I think I'm going to wrap it up here today. Uh, sorry I didn't make a video of me actually doing this, but it was under the trailer and inside of a very small door, and it was, quite frankly, it was just impossible to film. I, but I'm going to show you what, what I got done. Uh, looks pretty good. It's going to work. All right, thanks. Okay, back in the shop today. Um, I have been, as I was mentioning earlier, I have been working on the plumbing and the for the dishwasher and I turn a light on here I have got the drain line and the the drain line which is this line here which is actually it's actually a, a Fisher Pikel uh, drain line it's kind of looks almost like split loom tubing but that's the drain line that they actually use with those dishwashers with a another little fitting here that just clamps together not a big fan of that but that's that's how they make them and that's how they want the connections to be made so readily accessible by pulling the cooktop out so I decided I'd go ahead and use that this is the water line that I brought up from the bottom I did put another cutoff right there so you know in the case that you really needed to really bad uh, you still got another cutoff right there so Anyway, um, looks pretty good. It actually worked worked out just fine. And here's the gas line for the cooktop right here. I uh, got that up on a little loop to hold it up so I can access it. Uh, I'll get down underneath and show you kind of how everything rooted through from the bottom. I have already run the slides in and out. I uh, had my wife moving the slides in and out five or six times and looking for how, the, how those tubes underneath move back and forth. Uh, in the slide and everything everything looks good plenty of clearance um, think it's gonna think it's gonna be good okay underneath the slide I've got a I've actually got the uh, the drain line coming out here I've got it tied off real nicely with some uh, zip ties and it goes back into the slide extension that I've put back through in under the belly of the trailer uh, everything makes a nice smooth transition the only thing that I couldn't really do is uh, the only thing that I couldn't really do was was make a 90 degree turn here with this pex because it just doesn't it just doesn't do that so I had to put a 90 fitting right here to make the turn and go up for the water line and uh, that stuff looks that uh, drain pipe actually looks like split loom tubing and I'm where it is, uh, where it's going to be located, is right above the tire. And so that what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some like two inch, two, two and a half inch split loom tubing and I'm going to go over the top of that to kind of protect it from rocks. Well, I need to get some bigger than two and a half inch. I'm going to have to do a little measurement on it to see, but put a piece of split loom tubing over the top of that and then zip tie over the top of that just to protect that. Uh, protect that I'm, I'm really worried more about the, the drain line with uh, with rocks it's pretty it's pretty stout it's pretty tough stuff but uh, a good rock a couple of rock hits would uh, might knock a hole in it so I'm gonna do that but uh, right now what I'm gonna do is Lexel all this up fill up all these holes and gaps and things uh, and I'll do a little time warp on that it's nothing 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 spectacular It's not pretty. It's a lot of work for such a such a small amount of gain. But hey, you got to do what you got to do. All the uh, water and drains are done now. My next focus is going to be on electrical. Hey, thanks. Um, if you like this video, uh, like uh, hit a like and maybe subscribe.
kind of watch the progress as it goes along over the next month or so. Hey, good morning, Rocket City RV here back here. Hey, I realized this morning while doing video editing that my camera kind of messed up last night, so I apologize about that. But I did make some further updates after that last video, so I want to give a little show you show you a little bit about what what went on last night. Um, very quickly, then I'm going to wrap up this video for today. Um, so last night I did add this one little piece here as you can see it's designed to almost act like a trap that you would see at the bottom of the sink where the uh, dr the drain line for the dishwasher goes up and over this little loop and then down into the drain uh, put that back there it's going to be back out of the way away from the cooktop so it should be no problem at all uh, anyway um, so just a little wrap-up video again as you can see I, ha I have straightened out my issues with the GoPro it seems to be working correctly again now and uh, if you like this video please like subscribe and I will the next step is moving to electrical and also putting the convection microwave and all the other cabinet modifications that are going to occur right here thanks a lot have a good day